Yeah, in that speech in 1852, Frederick Douglass, he talked about those founding principles and he decried what he called the Absolutely. swelling vanity. He said, how can people. I celebrate this right. day with my brothers and sisters right. in chains? Right. So I hope you didn't get the impression that I thought he was defending. No, no. He was defending the Declaration and then criticizing white America and Christian churches. He took on the Christian church in Rochester, which was the birthplace of the NAACP. No, he was a real strong critic. I was trying to say patriotism and critique in your country go hand in hand, in my view. There's an, there's an interesting distinction here. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. There, there's an interesting distinction running through this discussion, including the Fred, Frederick Douglass, speech and the, uh, uh, the Gettysburg Address that we take for granted on the 4th of July. There are probably, and, and that's the distinction between the Declaration and the Constitution. Mm -hmm. uh, David mentioned mm -hmm. uh, that the Gettysburg Address, Lincoln was making a shrewd reminder <laughs> when he said uh, uh, four score and seven years. What's interesting to remember is to do the math. Now this is 1863, yep. four score and seven years 1863 minus 87 brings you not to the Constitution. No, no. It brings you, and this was a very, uh, this was a persuasive redefinition of the American founding by Lincoln at the time to address the kinds of concerns that uh, Douglas had made. Douglas and Lincoln considered the Constitution fundamentally flawed, and so what Lincoln was inviting the country to celebrate was to celebrate the ideals in the Declaration. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal instead of conce and to, to recast that moment, 1776, July 4th, as the founding of the American Republic, the heart of the ideals instead of the Constitution. Yeah, right, right. And, and if we were to do a, 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 put everyone here to a quiz, what was the day and the date of the ratification of the American Constitution. Oh, Constitution. No, not just the year. The date, the day. What was it? I'll bet nobody but David Kennedy in this room knows the right answer to that question. And he doesn't either. <laughs> All right. So what this shows, what this shows is how how pervasively, how powerfully Lincoln succeeded in recasting the fathers who brought forth this, the fathers were not the framers. The fathers were the yeah. uh, founders, the right, the framer, the uh, the Thank authors you. of the Declaration. Who were not, the patriots? Who were the patriots? Not the Michael, framers. Let me ask not you a the question. Of the you asked the audience a great question. Let me ask you a question. When was the Declaration of Independence passed by Congress? What day? July second. Second. <laughs> Adam said the second should be fireworks right. and parades. <laughs> But we ended and up sig signing it on the 4th, so that's why we signed But at the Kemp household, they do that's it both, both days. Yeah, we, yeah. <laughs> we start on the 2nd. No. Actually, we start in June. <laughs> so three days.